Hey, what's up guys? It's Justin from Hip Science, and today we're going to be talking about the physics of skateboarding. So for a lot of people who don't skate, it's not exactly clear how skateboarders are able to do tricks and leave the ground with their skateboard still under their feet, also off the ground. It's clearly not attached to your feet like a snowboard, but at the same time you can't just jump off the ground and expect your skateboard to come with you. So how exactly are skateboarders able to get their skateboard to leave the ground with their body and land back at the same time? So imagine that our reference point is the center of mass, which is right here at the center of the board where it balances. That's where gravity acts. So in order to get the board to leave the ground, we have to apply a force at a distance, otherwise known as a torque, to the tail. That makes the board rotate around this axis. So it rotates down, it smacks off the ground, the normal force pushing back up on the board from the ground sends it into the air, that's called pop. Then you use your front foot and friction between your front foot and the grip tape to level out the board up in the air and then gravity wins the battle and brings the skateboarder and the board together as a system back to the ground. So now that you understand how skateboarders are able to jump with an ollie, you can understand how they're able to do a kickflip. So a kickflip is a lot like an ollie in that with your back foot, you use the same torque motion to create the pop, but with your front foot, instead of sliding it up to level out the board, you slide it off the side to flip the board. So in this case, you're applying a torque, rotating the board 360 degrees over this axis so that it flips like this. Another trick that skateboarders can do that involves a 360 degree rotation around a different axis is the 360 shove it. So in this case, instead of rotating around this axis like the kickflip, you're rotating around this axis so that the board is spinning instead of flipping. I hope this video makes you better at skateboarding. It probably won't. At least it showed you that physics can be cool. But if you're not quite convinced of that yet, let me try and put a different spin on it. So check it out, yo. Hip science and we back with facts. It's no wonder all these cats questioning what class is. See practice, got you flipping round an axis. Buttery skate tricks. Physics makes them smooth like chapstick. And as for physics, let's start this discourse about force and also force at a distance, which is torque. See, torque's like force, but it causes a rotation. A rotation which is caused by angular acceleration. That's all it is. Each move, each trick, a bunch of torques, projectile motions, mechanics. Shouts to Newton, each move I stick, keeping me centered like my center of mass. Right, Isaac? Might I wish for more people to see that skateboarding's like a classroom for creativity and tenacity, too. See, there's so much to learn out on the street, watch your feet causing flips and turns. But like in life, nothing comes first try. Smack the ground a few times before you learn to fly. Feel it smack back, that's pop, a force that's normal. Who knew that education could be so informal? Hip science flows got you in the know, but if you really want to learn, then start training. How many cats you know with a science show, where they be rapping and explaining? 